Hey folks, Dean Somerset here. Uh, I had a question a couple of weeks ago about how to set up bands for hip traction. Uh, I put this video up a couple of months ago, I think you saw it maybe, but uh, I also linked to it on T Nation. And essentially it was putting a pressure onto the hip, pulling it this way, and then doing a side to side hip rock. So the main purpose of having band traction is to try to create a little bit of a joint space opening within the joint so we get some reflexive relaxation of the structure around it and a little bit of a different stress. This allows fluid to kind of pump into the joint in a way that it wouldn't normally do under gravitational loading. So it's a really powerful exercise for stretching the hip and getting people moving again. So the whole way that you set this up is you want to have the elastic set high on the hip, pretty much as high up as possible. Guys watch out you don't get any pinching, that make for a really awkward Friday night. But you want to have it set up as close to the hip joint as possible so that way it pulls on the hip joint itself rather than setting it in the middle of the femur or anything like that so that way it creates a bending force on the bone. So the higher up on the hip joint the better. And then you're just going to go from four point position kneeling. The exact distance away from the elastic doesn't really matter. You don't need to worry about how thick the band is or anything like that. The thicker the better as far as how much contact pressure there is on your leg. But don't worry about how much resistance there is. If you find that out here is too much resistance and is pulling you in, move in, nice and easy. All you want to do is have enough pressure on the hip where you feel like something is happening. You don't want it to feel like a traditional resistance exercise where you're getting into fatigue. From here, all you're going to do is just drive your hips sideways and then drive your hips back the other way. Nothing's moving through your spine, nothing's moving through your upper body, nothing's moving anywhere except right at the hip joint. So by doing this, you create that mild separation of the joint space and allow a little bit of mobility to occur. So look at that from a side view. I know I have the elastic pulling back, but just to get an idea of how everything lines up, from here, all you do is side to side. Shoulders are neutral, hips neutral, necks neutral. But you want to make sure that the elastic is going out away from your body this way. So the goal is to try to pull the femur out of the hip joint. Not a lot, but just a little bit to create that space, that opening, which will allow you to have more fluid pump into the joint, which will take some pressure off the labrum, the disc, or not the disc, the cartilaginous coating and get the hip muscles to kind of stretch out a little bit differently than they would normally do. So hopefully that helped out and hopefully that explained a couple of questions and if you have any concerns or anything like that, drop a comment right below this video. Have a great day.